Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about stride and image size after convolution. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about what's convolution operation, how convolution operation is helping us in identifying the features in the image. All these things were clearly discussed. This is a continuation class. Please follow our playlist from the beginning so that you will have a better understanding of the complete deep learning concepts. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, first we will understand, we will take an example and understand what is meant by stride and what let's refresh the concept of convolution once then we go into the value of stride and all those things coming to here we are taking a six by six image and in our last classes when we discussed about the convolution operation we will take the filter value the filter value which we considered here is a three by three filter so we will take this filter and place it on the image and we will do the convolution operation so the first take this uh, filter and this blue box which is showing here first we will place this filter on this uh, image and we will do convolution operation means this one is multiplied with one and summation of next zero into two like that uh, we will do the convolution operation the output which we got after summation of all these values multiplication and summation of all these values uh, we will place it here next what we do here is we will move one step right and do the convolution uh, means uh, here the yellow box which is showing here we are moving one step right that is what the we call it as stride is equal to one after that one step right uh, this brown color box after that one step right uh, this orange color box uh, so total how many values we are getting four values are getting after that we will move one step down so that is what stride is equal to one means uh, the final image which we got here is four by four image yeah. the same way if you take stride is equal to two means let's take an example seven by seven image uh, so first we will place our first filter on this on this uh, three by three values uh, after that we have to move two steps uh, that is what stride is equal to two means uh, two steps then two steps uh, then two steps down uh, so the final output which we got here is a uh, three by three output image uh, now let's understand what's the value what's the final image size we'll get after doing the convolution operation if you take a example image is n by n size filter is f by f and padding p is given padding value is given as p and stride is given as s here in our above examples we did not consider the padding value if we consider the padding value if p is equal to one means we are adding a padding value so what's padding all the discussions clearly made in our previous classes so p value stride s means the s value if you consider it as one two we can consider any value so the equation the output image size will be like this n plus 2p minus f by s plus one we have to take the floor value if you got any fraction for this we have to take the floor value let's consider by n plus 2p minus f by s plus one so this is the output image size let's check for the second example we are taking image size as 7 7 by 7 7 plus 2 into 0 here we are considering padding as 0 we didn't add any padding value 2 into 0 minus 3 divided by 2 plus 1 7 minus 3 4 by 2 means 2 plus 1 3 value so that's the image size we got 3 by 3 the same way we will calculate for the second one also we will get three value three by three image we got so this is all about stride and uh, and one more important point we have to understand here let's take an example like this if you take six by six image if you take stride is equal to two if you take the three by three filter what happens here take the first uh, first blue box then we will move once two steps uh, right side then we will go for the green box then we will move two steps right then we go for the orange box so the our filter is moving away from the image if there is padding if our filter is moving away from the padding value also then we should not do this operation that is the important point we have to consider we should not do this operation okay this this is all about stride and image size after convolution hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you